The Poker Tournament Diary, number two, No Limit Hold'em. Today was August 7th, 2019. I wore a blue short sleeve shirt, a black pair of pants, a brand new pair of sneakers, no belt, no watch, no rings or jewelry, and no excess baggage. The casino was the Venetian in Vegas. The game, again, no limit hold'em. The buy-in was $340. It was a two-day deep stack event. I just play for fun, but if you were to play $350 tournaments every day, you would need about a twenty to $30,000 bankroll. The cocktail waitresses were not too annoying, and all the men dealers were proficient. More on the skirt dealer later, I tell you. I sat in the middle seat, so I did not have to wear my glasses. Must have been about 150 entries yesterday. This was day two, and there was more entries today. I'll just tell you right off the get-go. Some days you are the windshield, and everything bounces off of you. Other days you are the bug. Today, I was the bug. <laughs> Splat. Yeah, it's going to get ugly. The only good thing about today was it was nine-handed, and you could be comfortable. Okay, I was the only American Caucasian at the table, like I said, nine-handed. Uh, people came and went, but there was about three African-American men, two Pakistani men, one India man, one Asian man, three Middle Eastern Arab men came and went. It was a diversified table, but no skirts. No skirts on the table. I felt like a dinosaur, and the cards treated me like one. Okay. There one, uh, the two black guys were pretty lucky, but there was one young black guy who was as unlucky as I was. But he played fast and furious, and he went out fast. I played slow, and I lasted three hours without winning one showdown pot. Yeah. Somehow I lasted three hours without winning a pot. I only played, I think I played uh, four hands. Okay, the same three guys won every pot. You've seen it, and I'll tell you why it happened. The dealers don't really shuffle. But they're supposed to shuffle the cards before they put them in the uh, automatic shuffler. This one female dealer, it was, it, was, it was so funny. She pretended to wash the cards every single hand. You know how the hand is over. She puts all the cards, and she, she moved her hands around so gently, acting like she was washing the cards. None of the cards were moving. This went on for a half hour. I had to watch this skirt. She, hung, pretend to, she pretended to wash the cards. Then she didn't even give it the standard quick shuffle before putting it in the shuffler. Well, okay. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then you haven't been around the game long enough. Anyhow, it was pathetic. But all the men dealers were good. I'll, I'll give them that much. Okay. Like I said, about three three guys were winning every hand. Every three or four hands they were winning. Five minutes after I sat down, a young kid sits to my right. And he, he proceeds to tell me every bad beat that he had the day before. And yeah, he had some bad beats. I mean, I really didn't want to hear it, but it, it, but the guy was had a lot of enthusiasm. He had some enthusiasm for telling these bad beats. He got my attention, Okay. He was able to get all these bad beat stories in in about two hands. On his third hand, okay, third hand, he only, he's been sitting there maybe five, ten minutes. He picks up pocket kings. Only the lock horns with a guy with pocket rockets. He's out in three hands. I mean, not really nothing you can do about that. And, you know, you're in a $340 tournament. So between the two of us unlucky bastards, he might have got off easy. He only had about five minutes of pain. <laughs> I sat there and took three hours of pain. Now, I will not show you the hundred, over a hundred garbage hands that I threw away in three hours. I just won't show them to you because it's the most pathetic, boring thing you'd ever want to see. Just downright ugly. But I will show you the four hands that I played in the three hours. Well, this is actually my very first hand. I was in the blind. And um, I didn't really know anything about the table or anything, but... We uh, missed the flop completely. There was one club on the flop, and there was a the check on the flop. I picked up a club on the turn, so I 
could have backdoored a club draw, had a backdoor club draw, and a guy um, had a diamond draw, little small diamond. So I actually had him beat on the turn. He uh, puts in a 2300 or something like that. A diamond comes on the river, so I miss everything. And he didn't even bet it because he, he's not going to get paid off anyhow. So that's my very first hand. I actually made it to the river. And the only time I made it to the river was my last hand. So let's go to my second hand I played. So this is probably two hours in maybe. And I pick up tens. I'm kind of excited. The best hand I picked up in two hours. And I was in early position. And a guy raised. I just called the raise. He raised it like 2,000. I just called the raise. And the flop came ace-king rag. He uh, bet two players in there. They're both betting big. My tens are pretty much dead up against the ace-king board. So I threw it away on the flop. Let's go to my third hand I played. Again, I'm in early position. And this is the best hand I picked up all day for three hours. Three hours. And I hate pocket jacks. I mean, that's probably the hand that puts me out most of the time when it comes to tournaments and and you lose the most on uh, in cash games. I think probably the only hand worse than this in cash games is King Nine because King Nine you're up against Ace King a lot of times. So anyhow, it's not a hand I like, but it's the best thing I got all day. So I raised it three thousand dollars early position. I get a bunch of callers, a whole bunch of callers again. The flop comes uh, ace, queen, rag. To anyhow, there's two overs to my jacks. Again, lots of action. A better or a razor. I mean, nothing I can do with jacks. I got to throw it away on the flop again. So I never, the very first hand with the ace jack, I made it to the river only because people were pe playing passively. So now I'm pretty much blinded out. I mean, never, never caught anything, just rags after rags. Finally, I think I get down to one chip, one $5,000 chip, and I had ace nine suited, ace nine of hearts, so I had had enough. I just decided, you know, to go all in. I'm in relatively early position, so a lot of times you can, you can raise early position and everybody throws it away and you steal the blind. So I was hoping to steal the blind with ace nine of hearts. The guy right to my left, you know, the lucky black guy, guess what he picks up? Two jacks, yeah. When I got the jacks, two over cards. Guess what he hits? When when the lucky guys have jacks, they he flops four jacks. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. Anyhow, I get knocked out. My hand was my hand wasn't that great anyhow, but just that he flopped four jacks was like the icing on the cake. Like I said. Some days you are the windshield, and other days you are the bug. Today I was the bug.